Y estamos aquí en la parte de atrás de la respuesta con la gente de Satan's Host. Y vamos ya mismo, switch to English, for, so the guys could understand what I'm talking about. Well, we are here with Satan's Host. These guys are the first time in the island. And we have a few questions to, to make to them. So, um, the Christian community here uh, makes some protest about this concert. Um, Some of them uh, even classify this concert as I mean, satanic, and, and they were like, no, we, are, we don't want the people to go there. Uh, uh, what can you comment about that? One, all, all of you can First comment. Of all, we'd like to thank the satanic community for a sellout show. If it wasn't for their um, uh, negativity about our show and, uh, and them bringing up in the press about uh, Satan's host coming to want to conquer the world, uh, there probably wouldn't be that very many people here, but it'd just be all about Satan's host. So first of all, first and foremost, we want to thank the religious community for, uh, for actually selling the show out. So we're here for you, buddy. For acknowledging us. <laughs> Uh, many people um, try to classify this band as an extreme band or a traditional heavy metal band. Or Where do you classify yourself? Straight up heavy metal band. I mean, we do it all. We do black. We do death. We do traditional. We, we do everything but glam. And no, we like glam. I got oh, hairspray. <laughs> but it's a fucking island. Don't let my hair sit up, man. <laughs> the, the thing is, we have our signature sound, so... We could do any type of, you know, metal influence into our music. It'll still sound like Satan. So is Patrick Evil's just, uh, signature I like sound. I just love music, man. You know, I don't really like to classify music as rock and roll, metal. I just think if you got kick-ass music, then people, you know, they get into it. You know, because we know that we're all metalheads down in, to the core. So, you know, why do we have to put a label on anything? We know that metal is what makes us strong and proud, you know. Like, I listen to all kinds of bands and music from all over the world, and it just gives us energy, strength, power, you know, it just makes us feel good. It's a good time, you know. A lot of people think it's all about the hatred, but I think it's more of a good release for everybody. I think if, if you didn't have this kind of music, I think that you would have more people, you know, out there killing each other or raping people or just not being cool, you know. When, when you get together in a community like this, then, there's, you know, we can let out our aggressions here to the music, you know. We don't have to go out and, and to terrorize the world. There's already enough of them idiots out there doing that. We're going to change the world, man. The more people we got with strength and a bond in the world, then we don't need governments or anything because we can control, you know, each other. Because we have respect for each other, that's that's what the world lacks, in my opinion. That's why that's why I play this music, is to unite people. You know, it's like what would Rob Halford say: "United we stand, united we stand." And as that stupid evangelist Christian, then united they fall. <laughs> um. Why you choose to record the old stuff again in the last album? Um, we just basically wanted to take the fans to uh, let them know what the new sound with, with me as a different singer would be like. So we just grabbed a few of the songs that the band actually liked 
and put my vocals to it to basically let the fans know that, yeah, we can do any any and all material. It doesn't have to be just the stuff that I have recorded with Satan's Host. It can be any song that Satan's Host has had. And I just wanted to let the fans know that, you know, that my take on it, my flavor, and give them a chance to say, you know, how, how it differs. You know, if they like um, Dark Priest the old way or if they like the way with my voice, we want to at least give them a taste of, of what it'd be like if I, you know, when I do sing those old songs because we have we have quite a few songs from the past albums and stuff in tonight's show and also we plan on doing older songs like Citra Ara 333 which I've already performed a couple of years ago and songs from the other albums that I was not part of but uh, I can I can easily add my flavor on it and so far the fans have have really accepted my take on, uh, on Satan's Host, and, and it kind of like brings us back to the original roots because that's where we began with, with my vocals yeah, and Pat's music and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, so might as well just keep with the roots. But that's why we did it, ba- basically to let the fans know that uh, we can do any Satan's Host will sound good with, uh, with me on it. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to yeah, say I, that. I think it kind of brings us back to where we started, you know, way back in the early 80s. You know, we ha- I had Harry, and then all these years I've, I've been like the constant member in the band, you know. And I think that getting back to Harry and having the guys that this, this, this version of Satan's Host is the longest version I've ever had together, believe it or not, even more than the original who did Metal from Hell. So we're, we're planning on staying around, you know. So the longer you stay together as a unit, the better the music becomes, I think. So I didn't want to just do like a traditional. We were going to do the celebration for the 30 years for Metal from Hell release. So I didn't want to do a traditional kind of a compilation because I'm not really much of a fan when, ba- when bands do a best of album. So I thought, well, why don't we re record the songs with Harry and then we can do each song different than we originally recorded them to give a whole new take of it. That way, when the fans hear it, it's not like they're buying the same music again that we've already recorded before. It's actually something brand new. I've added extra guitar parts in there, changed some of the vocals around, rewrote the bass, rewrote the drums, made it better, in our opinion, you know, how we like it. So that way, when the fans bought that album as a celebration from the metal from hell, that it was something different, you know, it was like a brand new album for them. And I think that rewards the fans more than anything. That's what I like to do. So today is better than yesterday. Yeah. I think it's better. 